For hundreds of great shows like this one, go to onnetworks.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Kiki Sanford, and today on Food Science, we're going to be learning about fluids. Kitchens are full of fluids. Try and identify all of them, and I assure you, you'll be hard-pressed to find them all. Water's the most obvious, but take a careful look and you'll find yourself surrounded by fluids you never knew were there. Why is that? Physics. A fluid can be a liquid, a gas, plasma, and even a solid in some situations. Solids can be described by two properties. Plasticity, their ability to be deformed. Or elasticity, their ability to return to their original shape. Fluids can be described by their viscosity or resistance to flow. Some fluids, like water, flow at the same rate regardless of the amount of force that's applied to them. Water has a low viscosity, while olive oil has a higher viscosity and is perceived as being thicker. These are known as Newtonian fluids, after Sir Isaac Newton, who gave us the three laws of motion, which form the basis for classical mechanics and enable the description of fluid flow as a linear relationship between force and velocity. In Newtonian fluids, the viscosity remains constant regardless of force. However, the viscosity of some fluids changes with changes in force. These fluids do not follow the linear relationship described for Newtonian fluids and are therefore called non-Newtonian fluids. Lots of common kitchen fluids are non-Newtonian, like ketchup, yogurt, custard, and gravy, for example. So, let's take a look at what it means to be Newtonian or non-Newtonian. If you stir water, it acts the same no matter how fast, or how slow it's stirred. The same goes for olive oil or syrup, even though they're really thick. Ketchup is non-Newtonian. One of the reasons it's so hard to get out of the bottle is the way that it reacts to force. Ketchup is thixotropic. Its viscosity decreases as force gets applied, so smacking the bottle does actually make it flow more easily. Other non-Newtonian fluids experience increases in their viscosity when forces act on them. They're called dilatants. Gravy is a great example of this because it thickens as you stir it. We can make a really fun non-Newtonian fluid with just cornstarch and water. You add the cornstarch in small amounts and then slowly stir in water. You use about one and a half to two parts starch to each part water. As the mixture thickens, you'll notice a change in the way that it behaves. When you stab it, it turns into a solid rather than remaining a liquid. If you treat it more gently, it remains in its liquid state. However, if you try pulling the spoon back out, it turns back into a solid again. Dilatants are an area of interest for researchers developing body armor. The material needs to be flexible enough for the movement of the wearer, yet rigid enough to provide protection when under attack from a bullet or a knife. A greater understanding of kitchen thickeners, like cornstarch, may end up saving lives. But remember, it's not just food, it's science. For hundreds of great shows like this one, go to onnetworks.com.